Mabuhay. My name is Nathaniel Joaquin Bundalian. Would you can call me Nate? And I'll be your tour, tour guide for today. On behalf of Bundis Travel and Tours, I'd like to welcome you all to Okinawa, Japan. And while we are heading to our destination, I'd like to take a minute to familiarize you with the area and discuss some brief safety precautions. First, I ask that you remain seated until we reach each, each of our destinations. Second, always follow the itinerary that is given to you and always stay within the group. Third, never leave your things un unattended to avoid unnecessary loss. Lastly, never forget our bus number which is number 7. Okinawa Prefecture is in the southwestern tip of the Japanese archipelago in the, in the southern half of the Nancy Shoto so southwestern islands, a 1,200 km or 746 mile arch stretch of islands of the eastern coast of the Asian continent. Okinawa Prefecture consists of 48 inhabited islands but the main island of Okinawa alone accounts for approximately 53% of the prefecture's total area. Okinawa was a fierce battleground in the final stages of World War II, and many lives were lost during the Battle of Okinawa in 1945. The prefecture suffered severe damage measured both culturally and in terms of casualties. When the war ended in 1945, Okinawa was placed under the control of the U.S. and remained so until it was returned to Japan on May 5, 1972. For almost 30 years, the, island, the islands were heavily influenced by American culture. These days, Okinawa is best known as Japan's island paradise and is a premier travel destination for both domestically and abroad. All travelers flock to Okinawa to enjoy its pristine beaches, relaxed island culture, and luxury resorts. Its historical sites and ecological importance have continued to garner attention on the global stage. There are a lot of tourists watching Okinawa, but today, I will bring you to the top 5 places that you must visit here. For our first stop, I would like to welcome you to Shuri Castle. I would want to share at least three quick facts about this place. Number one, Shuri was the capital of Okinawa until the 1870s. It is now part of Naha, the new capital. Second, Shuri is one of the five castles designated by UNESCO as World Heritage Sites. Third, the, the striking red brick roof tiles are a hallmark of Okinawa. And the castle was built in the 13th century by Chunba Junki, the second king of Chuzan. It was to play a key part in many of the struggles in the centuries that followed. Shuri Castle has been destroyed many times over the centuries, each time rising again from the ashes. Most recently, the castle was bombed in 1945 in the Battle of Okinawa, and the castle you see before you today was constructed, reconstructed in 1992. The castle stands on top of a hill, providing a commanding view of Naha. The interior of the main building has been restored in, in its original style, with modern museums in the north and south, and south halls. The exhibits bring to life the history of the, Ry the Ryukyu Kingdom. On October 31st, 2019, a fire destroyed most of the main castle structures. After the fire, reconstruction preparations with the volunteers have begun and are rescheduled to com be completed in 2026. During the reconstruction, visitors can tour the valuable reconstruction process. Our next stop is a Charuyami Aquarium. Okinawa Charuyami Aquarium is part of the Ocean Expo Park and is considered one of the biggest and best aquariums in the world. It tanks are massive enough to hold, wild, to hold whale sharks to on the coast of Motobu Peninsula. The aquarium was rebuilt in 2002 and is now home to 740 species of marine life. As you enter the aquarium, visitors will find an aquarium that is the world's first large-scale breeding of live coral using an open system. One of the most popular exhibits is the main tank, known as the Kurishuyo Sea. The tank is so large I can display the whole whale shark which can measure up to 8.8 .8 meters in length and accommodate manta rails and many species of rare fish. Ocean Expo Park is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. or 7.30 p.m. Admission, admission is free to all facilities except Okinawa Charuami Aquarium, Tropical Dream Center, and the Oceanic Culture Museum. Please check the official website for opening hours of the aquarium and other facilities. So how was everyone so far? Excited for more? No worries, there's more. Prepare your beach outfit now because our next stop is at Kuri Island. Kuri Island is a popular yet secluded island located in the northern Okinawa and is a part of Nakijin village. Opened in 2005, the Kuri bridge, bridge spans 1,960 meters between Kuri and Yagaji Islands. Crossing the bridge is like driving on the blue ocean. You may sense exhilaration. It is one of the most popular and attractive destinations for great scenery. The natural white sandy beach next to the crystal clear waters is situated at the foot of the Kori Bridge. It's one of the charming beaches that are often found in remote islands. Next to the bridge is the Furi Square, provided with a shop, shower, and restroom facilities during the off season. It is nice to enjoy a beach stroll while taking in the scenery. Nagu City is home to several small located theme parks, 
including the popular Nago Pineapple Park, dedicated to the fruit and the most recent Dino Park, targeting visitors of all ages fascinated by the worlds of the dinosaurs. Nago Pineapple Park in Okinawa is a pineapple farm and theme park, mainly aimed at families and couples. The park features a small pineapple themed chain and self-driving pi pineapple cars, which take visitors around the large greenhouse field with exotic plants including many pineapple species. At the, at the entrance, you can choose to either line up for the pineapple-shaped self-driving carts or to walk around the greenhouse on your own. As you drive around in the pineapple cart, you will be educated on pineapples and the many species which exist and are kept here. Now, Dino Park offers a pleasant and easy out outing in the heart of Yonbaru subtropical forest with 80 life-size dinosaurs models scattered in the forest. Some of them move, shrink, or grunt, which makes them even more lifelike. And for our last stop, is its American village. Many, many American military bases are located in the area, and the, enten, and the entertainment complex's themes of Americana provide a nostalgic pleasure for residents of the bases, as well as an interesting diversion for the locals. The Mihama American Village resembles a big American outdoor shopping mall, with lots of shops, restaurants, and a large parking lot. The Americana theme is found at many establishments, such as fashion shops, selling American branding clothes, or restaurants, specializing in hot dogs and hamburgers. Americans and Japanese movies are shown at the Miami Seven Plex movie theater. Just a few steps along, away along the water, the waterfront is Sunset Beach, a good place to catch the sunset and popular spots for barbecues. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of our tour of here in Okinawa. I hope you have enjoyed this this journey with me and learned something new and interesting about this destination. Oh wait, before we totally end, I just want to share a trivia with you. Do you guys know that cherry blossoms in Okinawa are the first to bloom in Japan? Yes. That is because the warm climate allows cherry blossoms flowers to begin blooming in mid-January, which is the earliest in Japan. So I guess that's all. I would like to thank you all for your attention and participation. You have been a wonderful group and I've enjoyed being your guide today. Before we part ways, I would like to remind you of a few things. Please make sure you have all your belongings with you and don't leave anything behind on the bus. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to share them with me or your driver. We would love to hear from you in our, and improve our services. Also, if you enjoyed this tour and would like to join us for another one, please check out our brochure website for more information. We have many exciting and diverse tours to offer you. Finally, I would like to wish you all a great, great day ahead and a safe journey back to your hotel or home. I hope you have made some wonderful memories here and I will come back again soon. It has been a pleasure to show you around and share some stories with you. Thank you once again. Goodbye and take care.